Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So now we're going to read from this book. It's called Why the Cock the Cocks Fight. Dominicans, Haitians and the Struggle for Hispaniola. The Struggle for Hispaniola. Okay? Read uh page 37 where it says Jean Jacques Dessalines. Read that. Jean Jacques Dessalines, the general who declared Haiti's victory over the French. The general, the Haitian general, the Levite general who declared what? Victory over the French. Over who? The French. Over the French. Over the French. So this was a general that liberated his people, a black country, from the French, from the oppressor, from the slave master, the white man. Okay? Read. And then became the new nation's first emperor. The new nation's first emperor. Read. Jacques one, the first, the ordered that all the French who remained in Haiti be killed. He ordered what? Ordered that all the French who remained in Haiti be killed. So he ordered that all the French that remained in Haiti be killed. Why? Because they were oppressing the Levites. They had us in slavery. They had us in captivity. So he put the slave masters to death. Why? Because he knew that that was our enemy, Esau. Read. Keep reading. Yes, keep reading. Some of the colonists tried to pass as Creoles who had grown up on the island and had African blood. So some of the colonists, some of the French, right, who, were, who had African blood, but what? Their father was white, Caucasian. They tried to pass as, as Haitians. Read. Dessalines devised a test to weed out the ones who had not spoken Creole all their lives. Mm. They had to sing. So he made them sing a song. And because he knew that they weren't true Haitians, right? They, they had an accent and he, he put them to death. So his goal was to kill all slave masters, all oppressors. Okay, so he was not putting Dominicans to death. He was not putting other slaves to death. He wasn't putting other black people to death. No, he was putting the true enemy to death, which was the French. Okay, this is page 38. In November 1821, mm -hmm. the Dominicans declared their independence from Spain. The Dominicans declared their independence from Spain in 1821, read. And President Jose Nunez de Caceres aspired to attach Santo Domingo to Bolivar's great Colombia Federation. Uh -huh. But Boyer planted another idea in the minds of the governors of the outlying Dominican states. Read. One by one, he convinced the leaders of Cotuí, La Vega, Macorís, Azua, San Juan, Nieva, Santiago, and Puerto Plata that joining Haiti was the only way to ensure that Spain would not gain, would not again take over Santo Domingo. Read that part again, that they would what? Join what? That joining Haiti was the only way to ensure that Spain would not again take over Santo Domingo. So they, 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 when they got the independence from Spain, which was another slave master, they decided that the only way to remain free, they had to join forces with the Haitians. Mm. Simeon and Levi are brethren. So there wasn't always this hatred amongst the tribes. There wasn't hatred amongst Dominicans and, and, and Haitians. All right, read. With their support, 
Boyer went to Nunez de Caceres and offered to send... Boyer was the new president, okay? Boyer was the general who, who took over after Dessalines, okay? He became president of Haiti. Boyer, okay, read. Boyer went to Nunez de Caceres and offered to send 12,000 troops to defend the island. So he sent 12,000 hastens to defend the island on the side of the Dominicans to defend them from Spain. Read. The Dominican president saw that he had no choice. At 7 a.m. on February 9th, 1822, the Dominicans met Boyer and his troops at Pu Puerta de Conde. Uh -huh. The massive gate that now marks the entrance to Santo Domingo's commercial and tourist district and handed the Haitian leader the keys to the city. So we had a brotherhood. We had a unity, okay? We had a unity. So what happened? Continue reading. Boyer's first act was to declare an end to slavery. An end to what? To slavery. An end to slavery. Boyer did what? First act was to declare an end to slavery. So Boyer's first act was to declare an end to slavery. So where does this lie come that the Haitians enslaved Dominicans? No. They, Haiti was a free country. Okay, they were a country, a nation devised of free slaves. Why would they enslave other other people that look just like them. No, they ended slavery in the island. That's what they did. That was his first act as president of Haiti. Read. To end slavery across the entire island. Across what? The entire island. No, only on the Haiti part. The entire island. On the entire island, he ended slavery. So that lie that the Haitians enslaved the Dominicans, that was put upon the Dominicans by what? The Spaniards, okay? The oppressor, the conquistador, all right? To separate Simeon and Levi, the Dominicans and the Haitians, okay? We're reading history right here. Continue reading. Santo Domingo was not only the Haitians' protection against invasion from the European powers. They was the Haitians' protection from the European powers. So the Haitians knew they needed this, their Dominican brother to what? Defend the island, defend themselves from oppression from the Europeans. Read. But also a cash box holding part of the ransom for Haitian independence. So they also knew that they needed the Dominicans for Haitian independence. Why? Because there was riches on the side of the Dominicans, okay? So they had to work together. Boyer underst understood this. Read. In 1825, desperate to regain access to European markets. Uh-huh. Why? What? Because what? The Europeans put sanctions on the Haitians for getting their freedom, for fighting the French, for having the balls the te testicular fortitude to defend themselves, to free themselves from the oppressor, okay? They will put, they will put sanctions on them. So now what, what did Boyer do? In 1825, desperate to regain access to European markets, uh -huh. Boyer agreed to pay France an indemnity as restitution for property lost by his colonists during the Haitian Revolution. So he agreed to pay an indemnity, meaning pay a, 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 an amount of money to the French for, in return for them fighting the French and freeing themselves for the, the, the amount of money that France gained to lose when, from, 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 um, from the, uh, the Haitians getting their independence. Okay, read. Incredible as it was that the Haitian victors had to comp compensate the losers in their war for independence. So it was unfathomable, incredible as it was, that the Haitian victors had to pay the losers. Who pays? How do you win and you still have to pay because you've won? Okay? This goes to show you that we're still under curses. We cannot mm. escape the curses. Read. The sum agreed upon was even more amazing. 150 million francs. So they had to pay 150 million francs for them winning their independence from France. 
incredible read. Under Boyer's plan, uh -huh. Dominican Sweat would raise the funds to pay the debt. Dominican what? Sweat. Dominican Sweat. That doesn't say Dominican slavery. It says Dominican Sweat. Why? Because they had to work together in order to come up with that $150 million, okay? But the, the, the Dominicans, somehow, they got in their mind that they were enslaved by the Haitians. No, we just read Boyer's first act was to eradicate slavery in the whole island, all right? Page 40. Uh-huh. A blue-eyed Dominican businessman. A blue-eyed what? Dominican businessman. Who is this blue-eyed Dominican businessman? Name Juan Pablo Duarte. Juan Pablo Duarte. What, are you, what is he? He's known for as one of the forefathers of, of the Dominican Republic. But we're reading here that he was a blue-eyed businessman. It's letting you know that he was a white man, an Edomite, okay? He is not a true Dominican in the sense that he's a Simeonite of the nation of Israel. No, he's an Edomite. Read. Go, yeah, go down to the highlighted part. Unlike Haiti and other countries of Latin America, uh -huh. the Dominican Republic does not celebrate the anniversaries of independence from a European colonial power. So it's incredible that the so-called Dominicans don't celebrate their independence from a European power, but it was the European conquistadors from Spain, right, who came to the island and conquered us as a people and destroyed us, took our land, took our, took our riches, raped our women, um, smashed the, our babies uh, 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 on the rocks, okay? But we don't celebrate the, uh, independence from them. What do we do? It reminds itself... It reminds itself what? That it fought off its neighbor, Haiti. It fought off its neighbor, Haiti. Why would you celebrate independence from, from Haiti when Haiti, all they did was free the slaves? We are descendants of the slave trade. We are not uh, related to Spain. We do not come from Spain. They conquered us. They enslaved us. All the so-called Haitians tried to do was free the island, work together with the Dominicans, come up with the money to pay France so that they can leave the, um, the so-called Haitians alone and they could build as brothers, okay? Remember, Genesis 49 and 5, Simeon and Levi are brethren. But here, okay, we have now an animosity and hatred and they, the Dominicans celebrate their independence. Why? Because we read a blue-eyed businessman, a blue-eyed businessman, meaning a white man, is the forefather of the, the, the Dominican nation. So you follow a white man to hate your brother, the so-called Haitians, all right? This is where the hatred starts. This is where we're starting to see the hatred, okay? Simeon and Levi not working together. Page 41. Uh-huh. Ironically, Haitian President Boyer's effort to maintain a presence across the island had heightened U.S. interest in Samana. Read. Where so black we're reading about Boyer again, okay? This is a black president of a black nation called Haiti. Read. Where black Americans from Philadelphia... Black Americans, the tribe of Judah, you, the so-called black Americans are the tribe of Judah. Read had responded to Boyer's 1824 invitation. An invitation to the black Americans, read. To establish a small community on the peninsula. A, establish a small community on the peninsula. Their descendants still speak English. Their descendants still speak English to this day. Why? Because he gave, he invited the black Americans to this free black country. Okay? Read. But repeated, the U.S. commissions sent to Hispaniola failed to come up with an arrangement that satisfied Washington or Santo Domingo. Meanwhile, the Haitian incursions continued over the next decade and a half. Yeah, read the highlighted part. By March 1861, Dominicans were again Spanish subjects. Okay, so now this is the year 1861. Dominicans are once again Spanish subjects meaning they're under the rule of Spain. Read. At their own 
request. Read it again from the top. By March 1861, Dominicans were against Spanish subjects at their own request. So they voluntarily, they didn't want to be under Haitian rule, okay? Because they were envious, I guess, of, of, of Haiti having their independence, their freedom, or fighting for their freedom. They decided to be subjects once again to the conquistador, to the so-called white man. Okay, read. But almost immediately. Almost immediately what? The new Spanish administrators. The new Spanish rulers of the Dominican Republic. Read. Shocked by the they dark. They what? Shocked. They were shocked by what? By the dark skin. By the what? Dark skin. Oh my goodness. The what? Dark skin. The dark skin of who? Of their new citizens. Of their new citizens. The so-called white man was shocked of how dark you Dominicans were. Okay? So what is this? where does this hatred come from? Why do you hate yourself? Who taught you to hate yourself? It was your oppressor who put that, that white image of Jesus Christ and made you bow down and worship that image of Jesus Christ, Caesar Borgias, okay? The so-called white man as the new Jesus, okay? Now you hate yourself, but the so-called white man knows who you are. They were shocked by your dark skin. Read. Excuse me. By, but almost immediately, the new Spanish administrators shot by the dark skin of their new citizens, uh -huh. began to exclude the Began to what? Exclude. No, include. Exclude. Exclude the Dominicans from what? From army. From what? Army. You couldn't be in the army. Read. Government. You couldn't be in government. Read. And social positions. And social positions. Read. In their own land. In their own land. So this is what you decided? You decided instead of being free with the Haitians that you would be subject, basically slaves, to the Spanish once again. Stockholm Syndrome. This is Stockholm Syndrome. This is self-hatred. Okay? You hate your brothers. You hate yourselves. You hate your black skin. But your enemy, the so-called white man, knows who you are. They were shocked by how dark you were. Okay? So they decided to exclude you from everything. We can't have these niggas ruling over anything. We can't have these niggas controlling anything, being in a, in a position of power. They excluded you, okay? So this is what you must understand. You so-called Dominicans are black too. We're learning it, all right? Now, that's, that, that name Dominican that you hold in such high esteem... Let's see where it comes from. We have another book here called A History of the Jews. A History of the Jews. All right? Let's go to page 211. Give me page 211. The name Dominican. Where does it come from? That name that you guys are so proud of. All right? Read. This is the book, Jewish Life in Spain. Page 211. Page 211. Uh-huh, the bottom. For three years, the work of the Inquisition went forward. Its technique steadily improving. Uh-huh. The Dominicans... Oh, wait, read it again. For three years, the work of the Inquisition went forward. Its technique speedily improving. The Inquisition, the Inquisition, read. The Dominicans in charge earned their title of Domini... The Dominicans in charge, the, the friars in charge of who? Of their, of their subjects, the, the so-called uh, Dominicans. I, but at this time, they weren't called Dominicans yet, okay? They were called Indios. They were called Tainos, which Indios means uh, savages, okay? Read. The Dominicans in charge earned their title of Domini Canis. So the Dominicans in charge earned their title Domini Canis. Canis. That's a Latin word. What does it mean? Dogs of the Lord. What does it mean? Dogs of the Lord. It means dogs of the Lord. So when you call yourself Dominicans, Dominicanos, you're calling yourself a dog of the Lord. Why were they called Dominicans? Read, read, continue reading. Was there more? For they fettered out errors in the most hidden places and tore their unfortunate victims to bits. 
Read that again. For they fettered, they fer ferreted out errors in the most hidden places and tore their unfortunate victims to bits. They tore their unfortunate victims to bits. Who were those victims? You so-called Dominicans. So that name Dominican, they put it on the victims, okay? The friars who were called Dominicans, dogs of God, right? They put it on the victims that they tortured, they, they, that they maimed, that they, that they raped, that they destroyed, they killed, okay? So that name is not a name that you should be proud of. Why would you want to be called Dominicanus, which means dogs of God? All right, it's a derogatory term. It is not your name. It is not your biblical name, okay? Give me the book of Deuteronomy now, chapter uh, 28, verse 37, okay? The name Israel means prince of God. Exactly. The name Israel, right, it means prince of the power with God. That's what God called us, but you choose the name Dominicanus, which means dogs of God. Unbelievable. Read. De Deuteronomy 28 and? Verse 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A what? An astonishment. An astonishment. And it's an astonishment, okay, that we have a, an island of two brothers who can't get along, all right, who once freed themselves from the, the, the oppressive, the hand of the oppressor, but because they have that hatred towards each other, they couldn't, they, couldn't, uh, they couldn't come together and unify. Okay? Read. A proverb. A what? A proverb. A proverb meaning to be called out of your God-given name. The Most High called us Israel, but you are now called Dominican. The Levites are now called Haitian. Okay? You call yourself a proverb. It is a curse. It is a curse to be called out of your God-given name. Read. And a byword. A what? A byword. A byword. What do they say about Dominicans? Dominicans got that good Coke, okay? Dominicans don't wear socks. Haitians. Haitians have AIDS. Haitians are, what do they say about Haitians? They eat trees. There was a news article where they said that the, the Haitians were eating the trees, bro. That there was no trees in Haiti because the Haitians were eating it. That's a byword. That's a proverb, okay? Mm. So we are under the same curses. You so-called Dominicans are no different from the Levites, from the Haitians. You're no different from the black, from the so-called black men, the tribe of Judah. So we're learning that today through the scriptures. Give me Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. Because some of you are like me, like, like uh, Soldier Joel, we're a little lighter shade of brown. But we still considered black in this society. We still fall under the curses. It's Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. The book of Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. Uh huh. Ephraim. He hath mixed himself among the people. It says Ephraim. When it talks about Ephraim, it's talking about the ten tribes. Ephraim is the head tribe, but it's talking about the nation of Ephraim, okay? The northern kingdom. Ephraim has what? Has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. What people? The conquistadors, okay? They have mixed themselves amongst the people. But what are those, the descendants of those people? Were women, okay? The Most High didn't allow for the males to live. Read. Ephraim is a cake not turned. What does it say about Ephraim? Ephraim is a cake not turned. Ephraim is a cake not turned. That's why you have Hispanics, so-called Hispanics, okay, that are the lighter shade of brown to the darkest dark brown, all right? We come in many shades of brown. Read. Strangers have devoured his strength. Strangers have devoured his strength, meaning the conquistadors have destroyed your minds. Now that now you hate yourself, you hate your people, you hate your brother. Read. And he knoweth it not. And he, you know it not. You don't know the deception that they put upon you now that you worship a white Jesus. Read. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him. Uh -huh. Yet he knoweth not. You grow old and you still don't come to the understanding of who you are. Read. And the pride of Israel testified to his face. Verse, jump down to verse 9. Verse 9. Uh -huh. 
Strangers have devoured his strength, uh -huh. and he knoweth it not. Strangers have devoured your strength, meaning what? They've stolen your land. They've stolen your riches. They've taken your heritage. They've changed your name from Simeon and Levi to Dominicans and Haitians. But we're dealing with the so-called Dominicans now. Okay, read. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth not. Give me verse 11. Verse 11. Ephraim also is like a silly dove. Ephraim is what? Also is like a silly dove. It's like a bird brain. When you hate your brother, when you hate yourself, when you differentiate yourself, when you separate yourself from your brother, you're a bird brain. When you don't know who you are according to the scriptures, the Most High is calling you a silly dove, okay? A silly dove, a bird with a little brain, okay? So give me the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 7. The book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 7. Uh -huh. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, uh -huh. but unto us confusion of faces. What belongs unto us? Confusion of faces. Confusion of faces. You confuse yourself with the face of your oppressor, the conquistador, the Spaniards, and you think that you're Spanish. You think that you're white, but what? We've just learned that you are, you are related to the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Levi. Those are your brothers. Same mother, same father, same nation, same people. Read. As at this day. As at this day, you're confused of who you are. All right? You call yourself bywords. Okay, read. To the men of Judah uh -huh. and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem uh -huh. and unto all Israel. All Israel has confusion of faces. All right. This, this is part of being under the curses for breaking God's laws, for not keeping his commandments. Okay. Now you have uh, the tribe of Levi calling themselves Haitian. The tribe of Simeon calling themselves Dominicans. All right. The tribe of Judah calling themselves black calling themselves African-Americans, Afro-American, okay, Nubian, Muslim, all these things. Why? Because we have confusion of faces. We've lost consciousness. We don't know who we are. Read. That are near and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee because of our trespass because of us breaking god's laws now we have confusion of faces but what now we 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 know who we are why some of us are waking up to our true nationality and it's our job to teach the rest of you who you are according to the scriptures you so-called dominicans are the tribe of simeon you so-called Haitians are the tribe of levi all right, the, uh, the so-called African-Americans are the tribe of Judah. We are brothers, all right? It is time for us to unite. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1, and we're going to close it out. The book of Zephaniah, uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. What does the Bible say? Gather yourselves together. We must gather together. The same way when we when when the Haitians won their independence and their freedom, and they and they gathered together, they united with the Dominicans to hold down the fort and ensure that the Spaniards wouldn't come and enslave them once again. Okay, we must gather together. Read. Yay! Gather together, O nation not desired. We're a nation that's not desired. Everyone hates the Haitians. Everyone hates the black American. Everyone hates Hispanics, okay? They call us spicks, wetbacks, okay? Dummies in a can, okay? The niggas, all these bywords, all these proverbs. We are a nation not desired. So what is left for us to do is to come together, unite, and keep God's commandments the way he... The way he, 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 he set it up from the beginning, okay? We are in the conditions that we're in now for breaking God's laws. So read it again. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yay! Gather together, O nation not desired. So it's time for you so-called Dominicans and Haitians and blacks to gather together. 
nation not desired. Read. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shaft, before the judgment of God comes down on this, on this, on this earth, we must come together. That is the goal. That is the, uh, that is the objective of the Israelites, is to come together and keep God's commandments. Was that it? Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the fierce anger of God come upon you and destroy you. All right? For being wicked, for being, for trespassing on his laws. Read. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Is that it? Yeah. So there you have it, brothers and sisters. Okay? You so-called Dominicans are black too. Uh, the Haitians are your brothers. The black Americans are your brothers. So we don't want to hear that. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 11, I think it is. Verse 13. Yes, sir. All right. Because this animosity, this hatred, this vexation amongst the tribes is biblical. It's biblical. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13. Uh -huh. The envy also of Ephraim. The envy also of Ephraim, the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. Shall depart. Shall what? Shall depart. You're not going to envy the blacks anymore, all right? You're not going to hate them anymore. Read. And the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Uh -huh. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. Read. And Judah shall not vex Ephraim. It, Judah is not going to vex the northern kingdom. It's not going to vex the so-called Hispanics. We are going to unite the way God intended for us to be. All right? That hatred, that vexation, that envy is going to cease in the last days. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.